Hello and welcome everyone to today's law series where we will focus on the ever expanding world of Anthem. Today's law that I want to delve in will focus on a newly crafted javelin called this storm, a mass of elements capable of large scale damage and a pinnacly new type of javelin that is a lot more special than the standard javelins. The storm is the latest in javelin design, using ember cord seals to harness the power of the elements through the use of the Anthem. Its ability to float above combat for indefinite long times compensates for its light armour but places it at risk of being damaged more easily compared to other javelins. Similar to a glass cannon mage for those that have played RPG dungeon crawler games, where they have high damage but can be easily killed through a few hits and shots here and there. Firstly developed by the militaristic forces of Dominion in the northern home of Stralingham, the Storm uses a seal technology to boost the latent connected powers of the pilot to the javelin itself. Such a technological feat isn't something easy to achieve for the many because of how unstable the Anthem creation is and how there's still so much unanswered questions over the Anthem creation's true purpose and whether it's something that humanity should try to control. Now I say control very lightly as the last time humanity tried, or should I say the Dominion, tried to control the Anthem, we ended up with the Heart of Rage scenario and losing freehold and a lot of lives at the same time. Now, Arcanists are doing the best in terms of studying the Anthem through the who, what, where, and how. And yet, through the results of Dominion's own research, they created a javelin that can float effortlessly above ground and unleash the raw energy of the Anthem creation itself, as if it has its own nuclear core providing it with infinite near power. Now, this is impressive, as it tells us that if the Dominion are capable of harnessing the power of the Anthem to fit into any javelin, then what else can they do with it? Logically, they can design and create more new javelins with unique powers, increase advancement in technology to push and expand humanity where it currently stands, the ability to use a small portion of the Anthem to our own uses for everyday uses to wider worldly usage. The ideas are endless when you think about it. Now, the rumour of the creation of the storm eventually reached Fort Tarsus, and only through painstaking Arcanist research has anyone outside the Dominion had a chance to wield the storm's awesome power. Now this line here tells me that the storm was a secretive project at one point, and that only the Dominion forces would have known about it, which if it was kept quiet, they could in one scenario take on Fort Tarsus and anyone else in a way with their new javelins and probably succeed very well in taking over them, as no one but the Dominion forces would have any record or information about the javelin and what it's capable of. However, that's not the case, and thanks to it, Storm Javelins are commonly used by all forces of different backgrounds, to smugglers, Dominion, and freelancers alike. And while the Storm can channel unbelievable amounts of energy from near nothingness, it has little in the way of defensive capabilities like I previously mentioned, and requires an expert pilot to stay above the fight and dish out damage from a safe distance, which rings true. For such a powerful Javelin, its weakness lies within both its defense and ability to control a Javelin, as taking damage can down you very quickly compared to other javelins, who are more tankier. So if you play your role and your distance well, learning how to survive and control the javelin requires you to understand its main elements, when it's best to use them, who is most effective on and how synchronized you are with your gear. It's hard at first for many new freelancers who have never played as a storm before, as it seems you have to have a good idea as to what's a hit and miss at times. Even the most experienced pilots struggle at times with understanding this some foes. But ask any player who has mastered javelin on what they think about the storm and they tell you if you enjoy the big damage and becoming a wizard of some sort then this is a javelin for you to handle with care. Thank you everyone for stopping by to hear a bit about the Anthem lore and some of my general thoughts of the world as it continues to grow. As you can tell this is my first time doing lore content that I hope to improve on in the near future as well as bring on other bits of fitting content as well. But anyways if you enjoy the content and like to see more like this, then please leave a like, a comment and share for more. And like always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys again soon.